Hi guys, welcome back. Well, my analog duo has finally turned up. In fact, in all fairness, it turned up last Wednesday, but I've not had a chance to really play with it properly. And what video I have done on that, it's not ready yet. It's not right. So I thought I'd do a video on the controller. So they recommended these. It's the 8-bit do. 8-bit do wireless controllers. Came with a dongle, but I knew that the dongle basically is useless. I mean, I'll keep it, nothing like a spare, but I knew it was going to be useless with these. Now, these will not work straight out the box. I think it's a little bit poor of analog, to be fair. First of all, they sell you a system without a controller whatsoever, and they recommend these, but they they won't work out the box, it's as simple as that. And what you've got to do is you've got to update the firmware. So I'm just going to quickly take you through that. Because if you're like me and you use an Apple computer, everything's a little bit different. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to basically turn this into almost a USB stick. And to do that, first of all, you've got to hold down select and push the home button in the middle. So I'm going to do that now and show you what it does. So, can you see that flashing lights? Yeah, you can see one of them, you can't see the other one. Basically, that is flashing now a blue and yellow light. And as typical fashion, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't throw something across the room. <laughs> anyway, once this starts flashing, it's ready. And all you got to do then is plug in your lead, plug it into the computer. Right, let's get over to the computer and I'll show you what comes next. Right, there you go. It's found my controller. That's it. That's it in its entirety. But what we need to do is we need to go to the 8-Bit Duo website. So to do that, here we are, 8-Bit Duo. This is where you'll actually start. You're on support. You find the controller, which is that one there. There's your firmware. Download. Right, so I'll actually go to downloads. Because I've already done one already. It's there, It's that's it. Let me remove these zips. Read me. I wonder what that one is actually. I've not read that one. Oh. I wonder if I'm on the Chinese website. But anyway. <laughs> There's your instructions for Windows. Here's your instructions for Mac. And you just follow them. So we've already done the majority of this already. So connect the controller to the PC. We've done that. The controller will be recognised as a USB flash drive which it is, because that's it there. Search for the keyword terminal. Double click terminal to open it. So let's just pull this out the way for a second. In fact, we don't even need this website open at the moment, so I'll just minimalize that. So let's open that. Type in the word terminal. Oh, I hit the E twice because my keyboard's under the mic. Under the mic. Now what have I done wrong? <laughs> Trust me, this does work. So I've got the damn keyboard under the mic. Right, terminal. There we go. Matches for terminal. There's terminal. So following the instructions because it's dead easy terminal in terminal type the text there that text that's all you've got to type in here that easy remember to put the space now you wants you to drag that bit as you can see version 4 0.02 as it's highlighted there in red 
drag that, put it there. That easy. But what you've also got to do is drag that and put it there. Like that. When you've done that, hit enter. And that's it. You are updated. It is that simple. Really quick. But you've got to do it, otherwise you're not going to be able to connect your controller to your analog duo. If you don't do this, it, you can't use it. You can't even plug your little USB dongle in the back of it. It doesn't work. It won't have it. So I think this is a little bit poor of analog that they suggest us to use these controllers, which are perfectly acceptable. You know, they're great controllers, don't get me wrong. But but none of the firmware is um, updated, ready to use with it. I don't know. Is it wrong or is it me? Once you've done all that, just you know, just come out of it all, close it all down. You know, eject it, and away you go. Oh, and that's me on cue. My tea is ready. Right. Hope that was helpful, guys. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you again. Bye for now. Woohoo!